guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. So we're doing another episode of 365 Days of Art. Here is what we did in the previous episode and I've continued to do another week of this book which means I've almost completed a whole month. So these are the prompts that I've been doing this week and we're now on day 30 which is add details to these flowers. You could use cut out pieces of paper or any other materials you like. So I needed to create my own coloured paper because I haven't got any coloured paper so I'm using my uh, hoo -hoo, um, what they called water-based markers and I'm just gonna do strips of color so that I can then cut out lots of little petals so you'll see that I match the colors with the flowers to make it look you know nice let the yellows go with the yellows and the blues go with the blues. And then we've got this nice orange dot for the middle of the flowers. So I just continue to cut out all these little petal shapes. Some are wider, some are longer, just to create lots of uniqueness and make it a bit more different. I use PVA glue to stick them all to the flower, uh, which worked absolutely fine. And I just, yeah, slowly added more and more petals to these flowers. And until I felt that it looked pretty and nice and then of course I added that little orange dot into the middle to finish it off. I continued that with the blue flowers and yeah I was quite pleased with how this turned out. I don't often do a lot of collage sort of cutting out materials and things like that um, but I th yeah it was a really enjoyable thing to do. I'm gonna pop the date on there and we're gonna move on to day 31. Okay so the prompt is draw your desk or a table perhaps you draw the table itself or what you see on top of it. <laughs> So I've decided to interpret this by just doing lots of different supplies that are on my desk because if I was to draw my desk itself um, it wouldn't go very well because it is chaos right now whenever I'm filming there's just stuff everywhere so it'd be impossible to draw so I thought I'd just pick a few supplies um, I decided I wanted to do my usual line and wash watercolour so I could really enjoy the process I went in with a pencil sketch, went in with my Unipin fine liner and now I'm going in with my Windsor and Newton watercolours. Now, I decided to do this ready brown background because I felt like that was going to stand out against the supplies that I'd chosen because uh, the Posca paint marker that I decided to use was grey, the pencil yellow, the cellar tape which has got a slightly green tinge to it which I'd never have noticed before until I'm actually painting it. Um, so yeah I just carried on uh, adding more and more to it, used a little bit of my white PH Martins, added a little bit of gold Posca paint marker on the crayon and yeah here we are my beautiful line and wash watercolour supplies. I really enjoyed enjoy drawing it I like doing little illustrations um, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you on Friday bye